Hey, I'm Mark Brunel. Uh, I went to the University of Washington and was fortunate to be on the national championship team in 1991. Uh, I played 19 years in the NFL. Uh, I was in 2009. I was uh, on the New Orleans Saints when we won Super Bowl 44. Uh, I've been to three Pro Bowls and been fortunate to be on some very good football teams. I played with the, the Green Bay Packers, drafted in the fifth round uh, in 1993. I played for the Jacksonville Jaguars for nine years, then went on to the Redskins and the Saints, and then finished my career with the New York Jets. I'm just an average Joe, and I've got a game plan for life. I want to share my story. It's something actually in my life that I've gone through recently. In 2010, I filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after playing, at that time, 17 years in the NFL. And uh, certainly came unexpectedly. Uh, and really, how I got into that situation was uh, getting very heavy in real estate and uh, signing some personal guarantees and some other investments that I made uh, just went very poorly to, to the point where I really had no other choice but to, to uh, uh, file Chapter 11. Uh, it was a scary time uh, because simply you don't know how it's going to look on the end, other end of it. It was very challenging for not only me but my family. Uh, it was very public which probably was the hardest part because uh, the media had reported about all my failures uh, in my finances. Even through that process, I knew that it was happening for a reason. I believe God um, takes you through things for a purpose. And as difficult as it might be, and as sometimes um, uh, fearful as it might be, I knew going through it that there was a reason why um, my wife and I, my family, were going through this trial. I learned a lot through that process. Not only did I learn about you know, finances, making good decisions, I learned a lot about people. And my mistake was that I was too trusting and really didn't pay close attention to what the guys who were managing my money were really doing. And I found out very quickly that it was really about their interests and they were looking out for themselves and really not uh, me. But I learned a lot about the people that were around me and realized how important it is that when you go through a struggle, you go through a trial, that it's in those times where the people around you um, really help you navigate through that. And I was very fortunate um, that um, my wife was there. And it wasn't easy. Um, it was a difficult time, but our marriage through that process got better. I was very fortunate that the advisor, uh, my financial advisor that I had at the time, he helped me uh, tremendously about making good decisions going forward and making sure that the future was, was fine for me and my family. I had a very good attorney. Um, I was fortunate that I had very good friends that, that were there for me and on a daily basis would just call and say, hey, how you doing? You know, how are, how are things? What can I pray for? Hey, you want to get together and talk about this? I was very fortunate that uh, my pastor was there every step of the way to really help me with um, the spiritual side of it. I'm trying to understand that yes, this was having a, uh, uh, this was happening for a purpose. And I'd love to tell you that every day I was, my faith was high and that I was positive and I knew I was gonna get through it, but there were days it was really tough. And so having those people in my life um, was great. I could say this now looking back, that it was one of the best things that ever happened in my life. Now that sounds crazy, you know, going through bankruptcy, how could be that, that be, you know, one of the best things? But I learned a lot. I grew through that uh, difficult time. I came out stronger, my marriage came out stronger. I came out as a better person. And understanding that to get through any problem in life, you have to have good people around you. And I'm at the position now where, you know, almost, <laughs> Every week, somebody comes and asks me about that or, or might have their own different trial or, only, or their own thing that they're going through. And they ask me, you know, how did you get through your tough time? And I'm able to say, listen, I got through my tough time because I had good people around me and God saw me through it. And I really came out of that understanding that in life, you know, we go through very difficult times. And as Christians, there's really just two things you've got to do. And if you just abide by these two things in life, no matter what you go through, you're gonna be fine. One of them is just trusting in God, trusting that he has a plan for your life. My favorite verse in the Bible is Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope 
and a future. Now, it doesn't mean that your life is problem free, that everything's just going to be a piece of cake. But if you trust in him and know that as a believer, he has a plan for your life and going through those difficult times, they're part of the plan and he can take poor decisions and he can take mistakes that you've made and he can turn them into something um, that's good. So you trust him and then you also obey him. You simply do what the Bible says and, and if you'll trust and obey, um, no matter what you go through, he'll see you through the other end. Um, he'll see you through and get you to the other side and you'll be better for it. That's simply what God does. He loves his children um, and just like a, just like a, a dad would do, do, he disciplines you, he teaches you, but all the time he's, he, he's got, he, he's got you covered. He's going to see you through, he's going to take care of you. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to helping people go through their difficult times, understanding that you need good people in your life. So that's my story, one of my stories. I'm thankful for that difficult time in my life. I'm thankful to God every day. I praise him for seeing me through and letting me come out on the other side uh, stronger for it. Hi, my name is Ronaldo Wynn with Game Plan for Life, and you just heard from one of my favorite people, good friend Mark Brunel and former teammate, for that matter, with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mark shared some awesome testimony with how he struggled in his career with finances and also how that affected his relationship with family and friends. Make sure you go to Coach's book, Game Plan for Life, to kind of look at some of those topics in the book to get more information. Also, go to our website, GamePlanForLife.com, if you want more information and how to get a game plan for your life.